the point is that when millions of people stand up and fight, they win. That's it. And when people do not stand up and fight, we lose. Now, what is going on in this country is a moment which is kind of historical. It is an extraordinary moment because the problems that we face as a nation are probably more serious than at any time since the Great Depression of the 1930s. That's the truth. And if you throw in the planetary crisis of climate change, it is possible they are more serious. The first major point that I want to make is that the problems we faced did not come down from the heavens. They are made, they are made by bad human decisions. And good human decisions can change them. Despair, one of the things, one of the problems that we have got to deal with right now, and I think Jim was referring to this, is all over this country, you got a lot of bright, decent, good people, and they're saying, you know what? Situation is hopeless. You can't beat the Koch brothers, you can't beat the billionaires, you can't win, I'm giving up. That is exactly what they want us to believe. And I beg of you, do not enter that world of despair. We can win this fight if we stand together. In order to win this struggle, we are going to need nothing less than a political revolution. And let me tell you what I mean by a political revolution. When, as was the case in this last election in November, when 63% of the American people chose not to vote, when 80% of young people, when 75% of low-income workers chose not to vote, what we need to do is create a momentum so that 70, 80, 90 percent of the people vote, and when that happens, we win hands down. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Okay. All right. Good.